Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm discussing one of the major highlights from this year's Worldwide Developer Conference, the unveiling of Apple Intelligence. I'll discuss some of the implications for your newer experiences on iOS, the features that will be available, and how you can access them. So what is Apple Intelligence? It's Apple's latest AI-powered assistant designed to provide a more intuitive, personalized, and efficient user experience across all of your Apple devices. Think of it as a proactive assistant that learns your habits and your preferences. Here are some key features that make Apple Intelligence stand out. First, context-aware assistance. Apple Intelligence understands the context of your requests, providing more accurate and relevant responses. For example, Siri can now maintain context across multiple prompts and correct voice mistakes seamlessly. Another is enhanced privacy. All interactions are processed on device. Siri is getting some major upgrades and has a new look too. It will now consist of a ring of colored lights around your screen, indicating that it is active. Additionally, it will be able to act as an agent within the built-in iOS apps. So this includes mail, messages, and photos. Voice isolation on phone calls is actually a feature that's available now. However, it does use AI to remove background noise and ensure clear voice communication during your calls. There are system-wide writing tools in iOS 18, allowing users to rewrite, proofread, and summarize text in apps like Mail, Notes, and Pages. In the Photos app, the cleanup tool can identify and remove distracting objects from your photos that are not the subject. And lastly, the prioritization of notifications based on your preferences and personal context and usage patterns. If you're excited to try it out, Apple Intelligence will be available with the next iOS update, iOS 18, rolling out this fall. Thanks for watching. If this content was of interest to you and you'd like to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe.